it should have been a cooking video. It should have been. But I didn't think to get out the camera until after I had cooked it. So what I'm going to tell you is how I cooked it. Obviously can't show it to you because it's already cooked. Backstory. I was watching TV this morning and I was watching Sarah Moulton. If you know anything about famous chefs, you'll know who she is. If not, you can look it up. She was showing how she cooks spaghetti squash. Well, I don't didn't have any spaghetti squash, but I did have an acorn squash that my hubby bought for me. Oh, I'm going to say three or four weeks ago. It's just been sitting here on the counter waiting for me to cook it. Usually when I cook spaghetti squash, or acorn squash, any kind of squash like that, pumpkin, um, I will cut the squash in half, scoop out the seeds, put it on a tray with some olive oil or something, stick it in the oven for, for it to bake. But I was watching, like I said, a Sarah Moulton, and she had a shortcut for cooking her spaghetti squash. My thought, if it worked for the spaghetti squash, it's going to work for my acorn squash. Sure enough, it did, actually. No cutting it in half yet. No putting it in the oven. All I did was take the squash, took my knife, made just a little teeny bitsy slit so that some steam could get through. I put the whole squash in the microwave. Yes, that's what I said. The microwave. I set the microwave for five minutes. I cooked it for five minutes. And then I got my handy dandy gloves because it was hot. I took it out, put it on my cutting board. Then cutting it in half was really easy because it was pretty cooked. So I cut it in half, scooped out the seeds, and here's all the seeds. Then I put it back in the microwave for five more minutes. Then I took it out of the microwave. And it was so easy to scrape the squash meat out of out of the peeling. It just, I have never had a squash be that easy. It was a fairly small squash, so, and I've eaten a spoonful or so. Hubby ate some. So here's what I have left. And this would be super good with uh, butter on it. So I'm going to warm it up with some butter on it. And here's my lunch. I don't think I can eat the whole thing for lunch. And if not, it can go in the refrigerator with some saran wrap over the top. The other thing I have in mind for cooking, and I'm not going to do it right now. I'll do it later this afternoon. Is to eat some kidney beans. They're supposed to be rich in iron, which is what I need right now. It doesn't really say how much iron is in, but I can look online. Google will tell me how much iron is in it. Any kind of dry bean is rich in iron. The kidney beans in particular. So I'm not I'm not a horribly, I mean, I like them, but just eating them plain is not my favorite way. So what I'm thinking I will do, I'm going to get a little pot, a little pan, and put some water in it, put some seasoning in there, uh, probably some bouillon, and then maybe some onion and garlic salt, 
Um, what else? Something, I don't know. Maybe some oregano. We'll see what I put. And you can look up online and find recipes for cooking the beans. Some people recommend draining all the liquid out. Some people say it doesn't matter. I haven't decided whether I'm going to drain the liquid out or not. I'll decide that when I fix it. Yeah. So that my kidney beans are not just plain. It will give them more flavor. And I was thinking cook a little bit of rice. Put the beans over the rice and I've got a nice supper. So that's my cooking today. And I realize I didn't show you much, but that's okay. I still shared with you what I did cook and what I'm going to cook. So I hope your days in the kitchen are marvelous, wonderful, and that you fix something yummy that you and your family will enjoy eating to feed your body and family time to feed your soul. And I will see you on the next video. So until I make that next video, may God's love and blessings surround you. This is Darlene from Darlene's Garden, signing off. I know I just said goodbye, but I got one more thing I wanna show you. We have a cousin that he loves, loves, loves to go to antique say, uh, estate sales and uh, auctions and stuff like that and he just can't help himself he has to buy things and then then he thinks oh this is something Darlene and Jim would like and he brings us stuff and that's great I love it <laughs> he brought something yesterday that is so pretty and this will be part of my Christmas decor I'm sure. So let me turn my camera around and show you. He brought some angels. This one is absolutely gorgeous. She stands about, I'm going to say about a foot tall. She's just gorgeous. This little one is very classic, the little cherub. And this one looks very native. On the back side of her, there's um, let's see, a little opening where you can put a candle in there. And then this one kind of feels like, it feels a bit like a candle, but it's a stone of some sort, stand, sandstone maybe. It's real smooth feeling. And there was one more. It was another little, kind of a sh similar to the, cherub but a little bit different that my hubby said he had to have out in the garage with him so he took that one out there so I can't show it to you Whoop, my hand in the way okay so that was the other thing that I wanted to show you just how beautiful these little angels are and I'm excited to decorate with them well I guess I will say goodbye again once more and may God's love and blessings still surround you <laughs> always and during this month of November we are reminded of something we should be doing all year and that is to be thankful Be thankful especially to our Creator, God, who gives us everything. It is He who created everything. He created the earth, the plants, the beautiful things, the minds of people who can make things that we have. Nothing is made that, that isn't created somehow by Him either directly or through a human being. So being thankful is something that we should always do. And the more we are thankful, the happier we will be, no matter what the circumstance. So 
until my next video, I hope you are thankful for everything that you have. Our cousin also gave us a basket. Guess who likes it? And hubby found more grapes. He was mowing up the leaves and saw that the grapevine still had more grapes, so he picked them.